Mr. President, uh, I come to the floor today uh, to pledge my overwhelming support to Senator Tillis and uh, his Outer Continental Shelf uh, amendment that's been placed on the Keystone Bill, and I think it's apparent with the direction that the administration's going that they've finally realized this is the right thing, but uh, I think codifying that into this bill is important. But, Mr. President, I also come today because many of my colleagues in this body support the Land and Water Conservation Fund. And just to remind some who might not have been here as long, uh, Land and Water Conservation Fund was created and funded by royalties off of this exploration explosion that we've had over decades in this country. Um, now, I might say a disappointment to me is that over the life of this trust fund that we created, uh, it's never received the appropriations that it accrued in a balance. Now, let me say that again. It accrues a certain amount off of royalties, and it was directed in statute that that money goes to fund the Land and Water Conservation Fund. And let me just say to my colleagues, this, this is the best organization to choose where to make that investment. This is not about a land grab. This is about providing um, contiguous pieces of land that have historic value. But this is not about um, initiatives to create new national parks. Uh, it's to protect the infrastructure that's out there in their control. And, uh, you know, we've, we've battled for years. And I would love to come to the floor right now and say I, I want to offer an amendment for full funding of the Land and Water Conservation Fund which should be about $900 million a year, yet we appropriate about 350 to 450, depending upon the year. But unfortunately, I'm not here to offer that amendment, though I think it would receive tremendous support in this body, uh, primarily because I'd have to find $8 billion worth of offsets. Now, this is incredible that we could have a trust fund that is funded with the royalties off of production that has an $8 billion balance, but to actually say we're going to begin to fully fund them, you've got to come up with $8 billion worth of offsets because we spent the money on something else. We spent the money on something else, therefore, you've got to find an offset. So I'm not coming to the floor today to propose that we fully fund it, though I'm an advocate of it, and I think many people are. I'm coming to the floor, and in a minute I'll ask uh, consent to have Amendment 92 pending, which is the Burr-Bennett-Ayot, it's to permanently reauthorize the Land and Water Conservation Fund. Uh, I'm sure the President's aware the program expires at the end of September, and we can, we can wait, but I don't think that there's any need to wait to reauthorize what I believe is a dollar for dollar the most effective government program we have. Uh, we can save any kind of funding level fights for another day, and the simple truth is that this program is a trust fund that's codified in law. So we're not debating whether this exists or doesn't exist. It does exist, and every year $900 million in royalties are paid by energy companies that drill for gas and oil on the Outer Continental Shelf and are put into this fund, but for some reason that group, that conservation effort only finds what the appropriators are willing to pass on to him. Um, our amendment would reauthorize the program itself on a permanent basis, and I'm going to ask all of my colleagues to, in fact, support this amendment. So, uh, Mr. President, I would ask unanimous consent. What is the pending amendment? Amendment number 155. Amendment number 155. I'd ask unanimous consent Offered to the set Senate the Rangers. pending amendment aside and to call up Amendment 92. Is there objection? Without objection, the clerk will report the amendment. Senator from North Carolina, Mr. Burr, for himself and others, proposes an amendment number 92. Unanimous consent to suspend the reading of the amendment. Without objection. Mr. President, I have uh, spoken very briefly on this permanent reauthorization because this is a very simple thing. I urge my colleagues, it's now pending, and uh, I urge my colleagues that when we have an opportunity to vote, and I think that will be 
uh, sooner rather than later on a whole host of amendments that you take the opportunity to reauthorize, to reauthorize permanently a program that is clearly one that benefits this country and our national treasures, and I yield the floor. Mr. President.